Lewis Exol, who launches the ball long first time. Headed away by Tom Williams. A bit of head tennis going on in the middle as Danny East heads that towards Danny Clark. Little touchdown for Amir Birchall. Pokes the ball out wide for Josh Whiteley. Whiteley looking to evade his marker. Whiteley, low ball into the box. Looking for Danny Clark. And the shot just goes narrowly wide. And the right hand post. I think Danny Clark was offside anyway, according to the linesman on this far side. So he wouldn't have stood anyway. But that was good passing from Ferriby and a good crossing from Josh Whiteley and Danny Clark just couldn't divert the effort goalwards. John Cubill under pressure from Danny Clark. He'll launch it long with his right foot. Now tells he wins the header, but the ball somehow finds its way to Cal Thomas on the right hand edge. Smothered by four or five area plays with the ball. It's played back. Declan Bacon takes it around the goalkeeper. That's a foul. Is that a penalty or a free kick? I think it's a free kick on the edge of the penalty area. The Bottesford players are not happy. It's a poor back pass. Bacon managed to step through. Lewis Exall fouls him. So Lewis Exor is given a yellow card and I think he, for me I think he's very very lucky to have that yellow card. I can't see. It's going to be Simpson with a shot. It just goes wide of the target. Danny East to take this free kick, whip towards the back post, and it's dropped by the goalkeeper. It falls to Amir Birchall, and it's a penalty. It's a penalty for North Ferriby. The goalkeeper, John Cubo, comes out, drops the ball, and I think Ollie Donald's the one that gets fouled in the penalty area in the back post as he looks to swing the ball. And it's going to be a penalty for the Villagers. Didn't think there was much in that, but Ferriby will not care if it means they take the lead this afternoon. It's Josh Whiteley who's going to be stepping up to take it. Steps up, Josh Whiteley. Sends the keeper the wrong way and opens the scoring. Does his iconic celebration. And it gives North Ferriby the opening goal in this game. It's North Ferriby 1, Bottesford Town 0, 31 minutes gone. Earl continuing to drive it forward. Avengers marker Tom Williams. Earl puts the ball in. Recovery challenge from Joe Simpson's a good one. Goes out for a corner. I think this will be the last action of the first half. As Danny East gingerly goes across to go and take it. Danny Earl was looking to do a short option there, but Picked up quickly by two Bottesford players. So Danny East lofted the ball in. Aiming it towards Tilsley who heads wide of the target. And that is the end of the first half. Josh Morrell on this left-hand side. Plays it to Amir Birchall. Takes a pass half halfway. Birchall. Drives the ball forward, plays it into Danielle, cuts to the inside. Danielle with a shot, it's just wide of the target. That's more direct from Ferriby, good quick counter attacking play. Virtual playing in. Danielle who just chops inside onto his favourite right foot, and he's looking to bend it into the far corner, but instead it just goes wide of the target. Oh, cuts it on the inside, looking for the option, cuts again. Left-footed shot. Oh, hits the bar. Very unlucky from Danny Earl. 
came from nothing that opportunity is Scott Neary then cleared the ball away goes out for a throw in but Daniel far out on the right hand wing decides to chop inside and cut inside again even further he's more centralised no option on so he saw the left footed shot and it hits the crossbar very very unlucky from the winger ball that's played out wide here's Danny Butter now first touch on the ball lofted in towards the back post looking for Danny Clark straight away oh, he's throwing Danny East with the volley oh it just goes wide of the target I think the whole world just stopped and it's 3-1 at Hull City Tyler Smith with a third goal at the DW Stadium that should give him the three points that they desperately need ball out wide to Buttle he's got Morel behind him in support said Buttle goes alone Buttle left footed ball in here he's towards the back post and there's the header it hits the post it goes in, but the linesman says the ball had crossed the line and gone out of play. I think it was Clark that touched it in at the back post. But the ball had gone out of play from Danny Butler's original cross. So it's still 1-0 Ferriby against 10-man Bosserton. Throw in taken. Hines, Danny Emerton. Louis Kirk wins possession of the ball. Josh Morrell switching the play across to the right-hand side. I think Butler was wanting it to his left, but the ball takes its way out wide. Oh, ball that's played in. It's a poor, poor pass. But Danny Butler receives the loose ball. Finds Levi Tarleton. Ball goes out wide. Looking for Danny Everton. Ball that's played in. Shot that's saved. And the rebound's there from Danny Clark. That's a great save. A fantastic save. From Jordan Cubella is near post. A great double save. It's going to be a corner. <laughs> Donald will be taking the free kick. Sorry, no, he was. Sorry. Donald with the header. Donald here. Yeah. On position of the ball, Ollie Donald just tackling his way through. Finds Clark, Clark with a shot! And it's a goal! It's 2 0, and that should secure the point. A good free kick in. Ollie Donald with perseverance to keep on going and win the ball high up the pitch. And he just plays the ball in for Danny Clark, and a left footed strike goes into the back of the net. And that should give North Ferriby all three points. It's North Ferriby 2, Bosford Town 0. Well, Chris, it, uh, it certainly wasn't uh, pretty, but a 2-0 win at home to Bottisford, that'll do for us. Yeah, the result is paramount, obviously. You know, 2-0 victory, another clean sheet, which is important to the lads. Um, you know, like you said, it wasn't pretty, uh, particularly first half. They made life really difficult for us. The system caused us a few issues with regards to us being able to, to get out without playing football. And I think we were architects of our own downfall in the first half. I think we overcomplicate things. Um, we made poor choices with our passing uh, in the first half. So at half time, came for us at a good time this week. Um, we managed to speak to the lads, um, tweak a few things. And I thought we were much better and more dominant in the second half and, and comfortably won the game. And, uh, Clark, you got his very typical goal yet again? Yeah, you know, we, we said at half-time, you know, he's putting himself in some good positions and we know what he's like when he pins the centre-half um, and he gets in and around the box. We just didn't do it enough first half and we started to pick him out better with better quality in the second half. And then, yeah, it's a fantastic role and, and uh, typical... Futsal left foot finish in the bottom corner. We've got to pay tribute to Kerky, his 100th game for the club today. He's uh, definitely a club legend. Oh, it's a fantastic achievement, and you know I think he's been uh, a brilliant signing for the football club um, from the first moments. Paul and myself came to the club. You know he was our main target, um, and I think you know he's just got better and better and better with every game and every season. So you know long may it continue for us. Oh!